the, the Islamification of Britain and the uh, substitution of British uh, uh, judicial and common law to be to replaced to be replaced with Sharia law. Um, the, the the latest uh, there's two opinion polls on Sharia law. Uh, the one from 2016 said 23% of, uh, of Muslims wanted to live live under Sharia law, and it's now risen to 38%. Wow, and there, you know, you don't, yeah, you don't have to go too far from 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 uh, from X Twitter, you know, to download a video of uh, of a group of Muslims plotting the overthrow, plotting the overthrow of uh, the British state to replace it with Sharia law. No, they have, they have no shame. They, they are, they, you know, they are in the open. They are in the open saying these things, and there is no shame, and because. They are they are that sort of kind of motivated and uh, that extreme um, that they don't care. Um, and um, and let me say that I, 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 I even have my own crime. Even me just going on TV and radio and podcasts and sending out my tweets and my posts on, on X. Um, I even have my own crime number for, for death threats just oh. for reporting what's going on. Whoa, my God, that's awful. Oh, one. Four three eight twenty four. There you go. I've wow. I'm, I'm memorised it. Off, off. Yeah. Yeah. It's so. It's, um, it's really. Um, it is. It is. It is. Obviously, it's frightening and and it's horrible. But I mean, I I said this in my editorial as well as as you said and as I've been saying. Um, this political Islamist movement is has been very upfront about what it wants for a very long time now. So I just, I look at the UK political establishment and I, I look at how successful the Muslim vote was in lobbying to get five MPs in on their first try as well. They only formed in sort of December, well, late last year. Not They haven't been around for a very long time. To get five in on the first go is absolutely massive. Um, but I just sure. look at the UK political establishment and I just think, well, we warned you. Like, you, you know, people like you and people, you know, people like me who are in Britain have been saying, have been pointing this out for a long time sure. now. Like, they, they, they were warned. Why did they not listen? Sure. Um, because they will have to do something about it mm. and they will have to face riots and, and civil insurrection. Mm. You know, you know, you know 76, uh, 56 years ago, Enoch Powell did, made his Rivers of Blood speech. Funnily enough, I've got to post a video of Enoch Power from 1969 uh, where, where he actually says there will be whole areas of Britain uh, that will be completely disconnected from the country. Mm. You know, <laughs> how right was he? Was 69? That was, what, uh, 30, 30, 55, 50-odd 50 years ago? Mm, long time you know, ago. It's a long time ago. You know, uh, you know, people like Tommy Robinson, of, 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 you know, of, 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 you know he, he, grew, he grew up in Luton, which was... Know, which is now a majority Muslim Muslim town, or if it was city, where I think it might even be a city. But um, you know, Tommy Robinson, you know, and uh, this is this is the this is the mentality of the state in Britain, rather than deal with the accurate predictions and 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 and, and uh, the problems that Tommy Robinson identifies. The state have gone after him. You know, they don't deal with the primary problem; they deal with the secondary problem. I myself possibly could be charged with hate speech. Oh. Um, for, for 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 putting out a meme, which, mm. which uh, it basically says it says f f Hamas f Palestine. You know, I was interviewed about it three, three or four weeks ago, so oh. I haven't heard back yet. Um, 